I am Merrick DeMatto. I'm yeah, Nelson Diego. And ah. welcome back to Mindbreakers. We're going to fuck up Merrick right now since he made me watch a lame-ass movie. I'm sorry, I thought it would be more fun. Yeah, I'm fucking Hulk Hogan with a shitty-ass copy of freaking Commando. All right, you know what we're going to watch? What? Ghoulies 2. Ghoulies 2? Yeah. Ghoulies 2. We watched the first one. It was boring. It was boring as fuck. You know what? I'm ready for some other 80s garbage, so let's watch it. 1988. Yeah. The ghoulies wreak havoc at an amusement park, disposing <laughs> of those who mistake them for mere fairground attractions. Oh, that's gonna be good. Four out, four point three out of ten. Oh wow! Would you look at that? So it's a good movie. It's a respect. decent movie. Well, without well, further ado, we? let's see if it gets better than the last one. <laughs> Ciao. The carnival's back in town with all your old favorites. The Ferris Wheel, the Roundup, the Octopus, the Beautiful Girls, the Spook House, Bumper Cars, and a special added attraction. It's got ghoulies, too. They walk, they talk, they crawl on their bellies like... Reptile. This place is better than Epcot Center. Ghoulies, too. It's really scary, mister. Ah! Close the carnival hard before they kill again. Thousand dollars to any man who brings me one alive. when you thought it was safe to go back into the bathroom. Ghoulies 2. Ah! They'll get you in the end again. Ghoulies 2. Mm. <laughs> fucking hey. They'll get you in the end oh, again. Well. Nah, this is actually... Oh, oh this movie was awesome. Big step up from the last one. That's for fucking yeah. sure. Oh, this is a fun film. Okay, so we start off the movie with a man running through the forest with her daughter. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, no. It There's was, uh, some people driving yeah. driving a truck with Satan's Den written on it. They oh, are, it looks like the coolest fucking thing ever. They are carnies. Yeah, it's an old, like, you Art see... Art carnies. Well, they are carnies, actually. Yeah. Like, you see an old man, a drunken old man talking about how, like, he's going to lose his job. The fuller and, than normal. And fuller than normal, and uh, forget anything. We might lose our jobs. Ha 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 ha. And, this, and like, I think the son or the nephew Nephew. Was, like... The nephew is like, we'll be yeah, fine, don't Dad. say that. We're going we're gonna to make sure. Moons either full or it ain't. It's going to be full or not, you know? It's like, ah, whatever. And then... Only a Sith. Only a Sith thing speaks in absolutes. Oh, God, yes. He does look a bit like Anakin. That's true, yeah. And fucking the old man looked like Palpatine a little bit. So mm, more like Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Peter Parker's a carny. Sorry, yeah. I mean Uncle Owen. Uncle Owen. I don't know. Peter Parker is a carny. Well, he's a wrestler. Yeah, he will in house of them. But anyways, so then we cut to this priest or this so some just some guy running some... with a bag that you immediately know is filled full of ghoulies. And it's like you hear them grumbling. <laughs> And a bunch of cultists, like teenagers in red cloaks, are chasing him with sticks. <laughs> and like, that's all you get of the Satanists. That's the fucking hilarious. Because, because it realized, this movie, they realized making the sequel that no one gives a fuck about the wizard. Seriously, no, no we one... We just want to see the ghoulies fuck around. We just want to see fucking ghoulies kill and destroy and... And have a good time. And have a fucking amazing they time. They want to celebrate and have a good time. Dude, like, they, I just that's all we wanted from them. But now... Fucking the priest goes into inside to an auto auto repair shop. Yep, and, and then, dumps the bag in the. No, no, and then conveniently there's a bag. There's, there's a vat of acid. Don't know why. Don't know why you need that in an auto body shop. But you know you, what? You used to work welding, right? Yes. Would you would you ever use acid for anything? Well, acetone to clean up metal. But like a, a, an open. <laughs> An open bucket of highly corrosive acid in the middle of your workspace. Yeah, no, you don't see how, that shit. You don't see that shit. How many I workplace mean, safety I mean, regulations would that violate? I could ask Gio. I mean, do you have that? But he's not here. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's one of them Italians, you know? But anyways. Like, 
The only thing that, that would make sense if it's the Punisher video game <laughs> and you get to dunk someone in. So you better which tell of me course, where the he are. dunks the ghoulies. He drops the ghoulies in. Yeah, and then a no, bat. He makes a prayer. He makes, he a, makes prayer, a prayer. Like, he says, "Thank you, God, for giving me this vat of acid so I can dunk these demons." He did. He thought he did a good job until the bat ghoulie swings out of nowhere and fucking like, dunks says, him in there. A bat ghoulie and then knocks him into <laughs> yeah. the thing. And then he's he's dissolved and the ghoulies are fine. Yeah, the ghoulies to them it's a fucking hot spring. It's like yeah, it's fucking nice, dude. And we have our the the ghoulies we have are bat ghoulie. Yeah. One of the fish ghoulies. Baby ghoulies, I would call them. Yeah, but there are, he's clearly aquatic. Yeah. Rat and ghoulie. Rat. Cat rat ghoulie, ghoulie and, and gator crocodile. Ghoulie. Yeah, gator ghoulie. Which they're like, my favorite one is cat and yeah. bat. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so then uh, they saw, so the uh, the Hell's Den kind of parked right in front, right uh, in front of the auto station. Like, because they're, they're Cause right radiators next to it, fucked and, and they need and to. And the gas station is right yeah. nearby. Well, the, it's not the gas, it's not for gas, the radiators That's fucked because yeah. their engine's overheating. Yeah, and they went to check inside, no yeah. one was in there, but. He fixes it himself. He fixes himself. And then the ghoulies... They saw the... Above, they, like, liked, they liked what they saw. Yeah, they, they see like the paintings of demons that look like them on the wagon. They're like, oh! It's our home, guys! Fucking badass! Let's go! And then they went inside. They're like, as if it's like their home. And then just... Because the drunken old man forgot to lock it. Because he was too drunk to focus. And it turns out that some accountant called Harden... Oh, is yeah. going to be... He was an asshole. So that, yeah. Is going to be... Wants to the shut down morning, Satan's yeah. den. Yeah, because like it's not getting the money... And then we get the best introduction to a really cool character, a little, a little tiny, adorable man. Who actually we first saw way back in the tenth episode. Oh yeah, has um he is the I think he played Vincent in the Ghoulies, yeah. or Malcolm. He, Malcolm. Malcolm he played Malcolm in um in Troll, yeah. and he played the Troll in Troll. Yeah, in he the was first like Troll, the troll and everything, and I was like, I what? think that's by the same company who did this, by the way, because uh, the puppet. Like I think some of the Ghoulies are reused puppets from Troll One. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But yo, but it was really cool actually. So he was really he was really adorable because he's like a little, he's like a little uh, Shakespearean, yeah. very we Shakespearean. Like he was really cool and funny. One thing we'll say: Harden's only character trait is he is a dick, and we're not going to go into all the ways we're, he's a he's, dick. He's a piece of shit. We don't like him, and we like how he dies. Oh yeah, we're going to tell you how that happens. So uh, after he gives a whole speech of "I'm a rich guy, and my daddy told me if you guys don't make enough money, I get to shut you down." And fucking everybody's like, fine, we'll try to make as much as we can. And also, if we do not get enough money from Hell's Den, we're shutting that down too. And obviously the kid got angry. He's like, shut up, I'm doing my best. And he's like, well, not enough. You guys better get more money or I'll to close it down. So then, they actually got prepared. Well, except for the uncle, to be honest. The uncle yeah, got he's just fucking drunk. plastered as fuck. He's like super plastered. He just like gave up on everything. And he... And he thinks that he made a small enchantment. So then he starts going babbling crazy shit. I demons, blah, 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 blah. And then, lo and behold, the ghoulies came out of nowhere one by one, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, like, the bat ghoulie first showed up. And he's like, what the heck was that? And then he starts seeing all the other ghoulies. Like, the fish, cat, gator, and all the other ones. And he starts going fucking ballistically insane. He's like, they're there. They're real. What the fuck? Because people aren't really liking uh, the... Because uh, they can go s just watch a slasher movie and get anything that this movie can give them. Well, that yeah. this thing can give them. So then uh, fucking... He's like... He goes to fucking find everybody and he's like going crazy and drunk. And then now finally the ghoulies are like... They ran off and now they're going to have their own fun because now the freaking haunted house is open. Mm. It's ready to go. So then the first people came in were two kids and five asshole teenage kid yep. they're drunk as fuck mm -hmm. first kids were like oh whatever my ass is scary they go inside and then these four drunken pieces of shit five well, the but they do one. turn off the boom box and yeah. they do pay the guys because they play so. like heavy rock metal and it might ruin people's uh, uh, experience so the guy stuck a finger and turned it off while the other dude paid him all full because yeah. they didn't like but because he was basically the bitch of the group so then they all split up what the fuck Dear God! Anyways. Sorry, I just I, we, we stumbled across a magic troll of Donald Trump. Oh my God! That's horrifying. Burn it. So, anyways, so uh, the kids go out and fucking they're 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 going around the adventures and shit, and they're just you know talking mad shit about the whole haunted place mm -hmm. until they found Rat. 
Yep. And Rat was just, you know, nubbing on a plastic head that was just chopped off by a real guillotine. But they first did, um, one of the dancers goes into the thing and gets murdered. But we don't oh, see yeah. her get murdered. Yeah, I forgot. I was like, Because very... after her cat and the her... cat gremlin's pretending to be her cat. Yeah, the cat gremlin. Yeah, you can see that spot. Yeah, I forgot about that part. But yeah, she got killed, but uh, it, was, it wasn't too memorable. Yeah. So, <laughs> after that, uh, what else happened? Oh, yeah. The kid saw Rat. Mm-hmm. And he's like, oh, look at that little freak. And then Rat just puked on the kid. You know, just fucking hiked it on him. And then fucking kid, the kid's like, you piece of shit. Fucking took off his jacket, pulled out a ninja well, star, I was expecting, like, whipped it. Why would you expect a kid to pull, pull out? Like a shotgun or if they're a, a hyper American? <laughs> no, shotgun. Sorry. <laughs> A slingshot. Yeah, man. These kids are, are fucking carrying a Because I was going to say a slingshot. Or like, like a BB pistol would, or something. That would have been a whole like an, like different an, like, movie, like, a, like an airsoft pistol or something. That would have been fucking great. But no, he pulls, pulls out, out a... a fucking 12 gate shotgun to blow this fucking He pulls out... A, he pulls the throwing star. He throws a ninja and star. And he throws the throwing star. And the, the, the ghoulie catches it and just With starts nomming on it. And he ate it. And it was like a... It was like, and he was like, whoa, what the fuck? That's cool. And that was not cool. Well, it was scary cool. But it was intense. So then after the fucking... Mm. And after the teenage kid split up for the from the fifth guy because he was a bitch and he was lame. And then they start doing their own shenanigans, fucking around and all that crap. Mm-hmm. And then after the fucking bitch guy's like walking around like, Guys! Guys, where are you? And then the guys just like, just crossed him because they were in the Dracula's room. Fucking bitch boy. Slowly walks in the room and they get scared by his Dracula. Fucking Dracula. Fucking Dracula. Best line of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, Fucking Dracula. Dracula. So then after that, um, they they are the kid. The four kids finally made it inside the torture chamber. I, I've had that exact set mind for, mindset before. Mm-hmm. You see, I once watched a movie called Saint Dracula 3D, <laughs> and my reaction to that is fucking, fucking Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> totally right. <laughs> see, that was your fault for watching it, though. No. Nope. So then, fucking. So then the kids start fucking. Well, they're not. Well, they're gonna try oh, to fuck. Yeah, but they're like making it out, rubbing they're against rubbing each other, rubbing each other kind of. and shit. And then that's when fucking rat pushes over the boombox, mm. and then fucking bat cuts the fucking punk's kid's hand. Yep. And then after that, the two couples they were just the they were like, you know, let's get out of here before you get more hurt and shit. Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm gonna sue this place. The two couples that were making out and rubbing all and touching all over themselves. They fucking start making out. You're like, it's okay, I got you, baby. I'll be safe. And they start kissing. Rat comes out of nowhere, just starts puking on them. Yep. Hoisting on them. And then that fucking... Apparently, that liquid is freaking glue. Yeah. And they got stuck the whole thing. Like, it's like what Toad shoots in X-Men. Oh, God, yeah. It's disgusting. So then fucking... The kids start telling everybody, yeah, this place is cool because the rat puked on me. And he was just talking all cool shit about it. Yeah. And then finally... Just a hoist of fucking people just start bursting into the freaking front of the movie. Mm. Then, and then he starts making bank as fuck. And then finally, the freaking, what was the manager's name again? The piece of shit? Harden. Harden, he's like, hey, my, this is this is quite a lot. You know, you guys shouldn't be making this much. And fucking, the guy's like, well. well you know, we we made lucky. you some money. Yeah, but it's not, this isn't uh, consistent. This isn't consistent. You should make it every day. And then fucking, he's just, I want all the receipts. And he's like, fine, whatever. So the, everyone just enjoying themselves. And finally, at the end, he gives them the whole, re- <laughs> all the receipts. Am I that pale to you, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he gives them the receipts. He's like, well, you guys don't make this in a freaking week. And now you make all this in a, in a, in a night? That's are, impossible. Are you complaining? And yeah, he was complaining for fuck's sakes. Like, why are you the fuck They made a fuck ton of money. Why are you, why are you pissed? Because he's a bitch. He's a little bitch. So then after that, the next day happened, uh, everyone was getting ready and excited, and then fucking finally, everyone, no, everyone's getting ready to leave, <laughs> and then that's when the punk kid comes in with a cop car, Yeah. and he's like, this this place is dangerous, this place could hurt people, this could kill people, and all that shit. You were following the rules then, Yeah, that's pretty why much. that happened to you. But he didn't, he was kind of following the rules because, you know, a bat came and cut his hand off. So then fucking finally- He cut his hand off. Well, okay, he cut his hand. Yeah. But uh, he's like, yeah, and then fucking Harden goes tell the cop, talk, talks to the cop. He's like, listen, there's nothing wrong here. Gives him like a hundred bucks to shut his mouth. And he's like, there's then nothing wrong Then they find wrong the here. uncle, the uncle who tried to banish the well, no, demons. The uncle, the uncle's like, they're real, and I'll stop them. And but he, they were, yeah, they, they'd been, uh, 
he they he had been demoned. Yeah, he has been he has been demoned. He'd been he'd numbed. Been, he'd been numbed and then electrified and then killed. Mm. Then finally, everyone's like, "Oh no, Nate, whatever the fuck your name is, you're, oh no!" And he's and this is the, the son. I think the nephew is feeling it even harder because you know it's like his his fucking grand yeah. his uncle, his love. You know, he loved him a lot. And then fucking, it was not nor it was it wasn't a normal day that day. You know, no. Finally, fucking. The next day after, he's yelling at, at at his partners like, "What do you mean, huh? If we stop this, how the hell are we gonna keep moving and on our life?" And then fucking little guys like, "Listen, if you want to keep working hard, you gotta have a clean head. Your coffee's getting cold, by the way." And then he just walks away. And then nighttime finally came in, and that's when the fucking Harden took all of his fucking fer- uh, his uh, his um his what's it called again? His, uh... What was that place called? The fucking haunted Satan's mansion. Satan's den, yeah. He Satan's took it den. and gave it to someone else. No, he no. It's for him. He took it for himself. Yeah. And he's like, now he's in. He's in charge, and he's like, this is my place, and I'm gonna take it charge. And he legit has like a security guard with a fucking double barrel shotgun ready to blow someone's head off if they go do wrong, and fucking he's like, fine, fuck you, I don't care. I think it's a cop. I think it's a cop. Yeah, city cop probably. Oh fuck. <sighs> So I looked at him like an idiot when he oh, yeah, like, you're fired. I forgot. Uh, I forgot. The, um, there was a chick, hmm. the love interest lady, who had yeah. who had an opportunity because of Harden to become like a daredevil, you know, to walk on strings and shit. Mm-hmm. And and he's like, I'll, I'll put you that if you're ready. And she's like, maybe I'll think about it. And then she told her story where her dad was, was one of those people and he died. Brother. Brother. He died. Hard times. They both make out. It's kind of like one of those generic horror movie things where they both kind of connect after a love. Oh, by the way, put me a cat right there. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. Anyways, um, yeah. So after that, fucking, that's when all hell broke loose. Because tonight was the night that the ghoulies were going to fuck shit up. So they, um, because in the big shootout, a hole's blown in the... In Satan's, in the wall of Satan's den. No, no, that's way later when they fucking, oh. when, uh, when the ghoulies were really fucking tearing shit up, that's when, uh, fucking, the kid, that's when the kid saw what they were, and he mm. figured them out, because of the little guy got yeah. scared, and he, he saw them too. The kid's like, I'm gonna kill them, and then he starts getting attacked by them, and he's like, I can't handle them by my own. So then he starts recruiting every single, yep. like, head, uh, uh, uh the yeah, head. Yeah, the strong guy, the, the guy who runs a dancing show. And, uh, the, the, the burning, uh, the, 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 the fire eater. The fire eater. And, uh, one of the, and has a gun from one of the, the rangers, the, 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 the shooting Gallic people. Yeah. And they're all ready to go in and fight. And they fucking put up a fight and they fuck shit up. And then fucking after the, 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 the douchebag Harden runs in with a double barrel shotgun and then. He said that I want to keep these demons alive because they can make me mad cash. Mm. And then he's like, fuck you, this is evil. And then he punches him out. Yep. And then he shot the fucking... And then the idiot shot a hole through the wall. Mm-hmm. And that's when the demons... <gasps> Guys! Lights! And they're like the freaking cat and uh, cat and uh, sea, the, the water, uh, the fish monsters. Like, yo, come on, man. There's more shit to do outside. And they're like, ah, yeah, let's have fun, fellas. Oh, my favorite part, no. My favorite part before actually that all that happens. Before they were about to um, do that, they caught one of the one of the punk kids. Yeah. And they were torturing him and everyone was cheering on rat and cat. Yeah, because they thought it was fake. <laughs> it was fake. And they fucking and they and they imprisoned the motherfucker inside the tomb. Perfect, actually. And they put him inside a tomb. And then people were like, yeah! And then fucking cat and rat did the most best. High five! The best ever. high five ever. They just do a big turn, and then we're not doing it on mic. No, make a big clapping noise. <laughs> just like they just like they just rotated their hips, and they just made like a full boom. Wing, it's, it's our new high five. It's gonna be our our greatest high five ever. And I was like laughing my ass off after witnessing that beautiful high friendship high five. So uh, then they essentially now the movie is just the ghoulies fuck around. Just they're going to chaos. They just fuck around a carnival. Like we, they're we don't sh- even care like, about the characters anymore. They're shooting at each other. But yeah, they're one of throwing them, food at each other. It's because one of them is one of the ghoulies. He's at the shooting range and he's shooting the the rifle. And we hit the cat ghoulie. And then the rat ghoulie is just playing around, like running back and forth. And like, like he's legit thinking, like he he does. He's like being a, the dog from Duck Hunt. And he's pissing off the rat ghoulie <laughs> because he keeps fucking missing him. And even the fish ghoulie fucks with him too. He's like, "You suck at shooting, man. You can't aim for shit." And he's getting mad as fuck. 
And then, oh my god, this one broke me and Mer. Fucking, there was this one scene where this dude was punching a punching bag and like to see who was the strongest. And then there was this one big tough guy. He's like, get out of the way, whip. He punches it two times and it goes crazy. And then uh, he then wins the prize. The, uh, is it the, and they walk away. Is it the cat goalie who does this? Yeah, that? the cat. And he, then he, he takes he a boxing glove, a big ass, puts line. it on his own head, and then catapults himself. <laughs> Knockout. We had to rewind it because we li- literally did not know what we just watched. Like, knock like, the, the fuck, fuck out. is this? Like, holy shit! He just like. But be- why though? <laughs> because fuck you. That's why. Be- like he was fucking around. That's why. So after that, bull crap. The the kids. They're like, we got. Oh, there's also playing fucking around with bumper cars. Oh, like good. running when people kid, over with a bumper girl got car. Run over by uh, fucking. By, they're by, uh, fucking around with the spaceship ride and like the fish school. He takes a screw out, making one of them fly away. Freaking one of the clowns that uh, you you should post. You should gets dunk eat, in water. Yeah, he gets eat, his, his arm gets not eaten off. off by the fish school with a Jaws reference. This movie is is so it's just fucking, fucking fun. Great. It's just like a fucking <laughs> gore fest. That's it's great. It's so much better than the first one oh, in every way. You actually have some characters that are actually interesting too. I mean, I have to say, I liked some of the characters too. Like the Carney kid. And so they're like, okay, the ghoulies are wrecking havoc. Oh, well, one of them goes up Harden's butt. Because oh, he hides in the Harden toilet. Harden is like, I, nothing is your fault. Everything is their fault. He just sits down to take a shit. And then and he, the poster happens, and he comes out of the toilet, because I think that's part of, I think that has that to job. happen in every movie now. Dude, uh, like, uh, the, the fish ghoulie has to eat someone's ass. Yeah, he eats ass <laughs> big time. He eats, he's an ass eater, man. He eats the whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole new meaning to the term, to the phrase. He eats the whole ass, all right. I eat the whole plate. <laughs> <laughs> so then, finally, the little guy, he's like, "We have nothing works other than fire, bullets, nothing." Let's use magic. Let's use magic. <laughs> and I'm just like, "Yeah, that's never gone wrong before." Yeah, but this it worked. No, it didn't. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it did. Because so the they're freaking, like, "Hey, we're gonna summoned... banish this ghoulie with magic. These ghoulies to the underworld with magic." But they, they don't. They summon a bigger ghoulie. They summon an even bigger ghoulie. A big fish ghoulie. Like an even Who just g- goes around eating everyone. He, like, most of the him eating them are pretty standard. It's pretty funny, Except actually. for the, I think it's the rat ghoulie, who he, like, bonks on the head Yeah, that with was just stick. too great. That was actually great. He's like, the rat ghoulie just flattens. chilling. He, like, cart. He Looney Tunes flattens. And the fucking, and then, like, it, and then, then he, he wants a high to, score, too, no less. And then he wants to eat, uh... He wants to eat the little dude. Yeah, yeah, he wants to eat the little dude. He's like, I am no good for you. Sir I'm... Nigel. He's like, I'm, I'm just Gristle. <laughs> and he just gets picked up and And so they, they wrap, they put in the his ghoulie costume. And they put and they put a lot like, of gasoline. Explosives. Acetylene and a lot of explosives to ready to blow his motherfucker to smithereens. And they do. And it looks like he just ate some, like a spicy taco. And he's like, oh God, my stomach, my stomach. I'm getting the taco shit. And then Boom. Sh- just exploded. And we cheered. It was the coolest moment because we expected, like, the ghoulie, the ghoulie, just to stand there and, and, and pure, oh, I'm fucked, and explode. It was just beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful death. And then we were just, like, we were all calm. We were like, oh. And they, they, so, um. Which I was like, that was like a fucking cigarette. Main character. Main character and the girlfriend go off to not be at the carnival. They do their own lives. They and, become a couple. And then we hear from the bathroom. The last of the ghoulies, and they're and he's cackling away as like we. Oh, there is a ghoulie though that gets very little attention. Mm. The first ghoulie in space, Salacious Crumb. <laughs> hey, man. Like, but it was back in the I think it was the fifties where Russia was experimenting with space travel. <laughs> they just shot shit into space. Like, and like they found a ghoulie and like, hey, I, what is this creature? I do not know. Do what not should know we do, Sergey? We shall cut. Load them in the <laughs> rocket and shoot them into space! Yuri, uh, it's bad, good idea. It is best idea. <laughs> and they actually do it and they fuck it so he fucking... <laughs> so they... Going. And then it became the court gesture of Jabba the Hutt. Oh, this movie was great, actually. It's fun. Better than the last one. So much better. And there's another one after this. Ooh. Where they go to college. Oh, man. They're gonna get some education, bruh. Oh, man. I actually <laughs> want to watch that one. Wait. Does that mean Temi is a ghoulie? Because Temi goes to Cool Leg? No. No, don't you dare bring that, ga- that game into this movie. Oh, That's two totally, do- two totally different things. They're both just as dark and fucked up. No, they're not. You should play uh, You should play Lisa, then you come back to me. Undertale is kind of fu- flowy? Nah. Demon flowy? Nah. 
What play play Lisa and we're, we're no, we'll start talking. No, I don't want to. Exactly. What kind of game is it? It's exactly like Undertale. Well, I did not enjoy the gameplay of Undertale. My ex had to do that. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's like an RPG. Yeah. It's not, it, but you don't you don't jump around. But it's, maybe, is it Bullet Hell? No, it's Good. not Bullet Hell. But you know, it's it's. Um, don't touch me. It's Earthbound. Oh okay. Maybe one day we'll play it on the channel. Who who knows? Anyways, I would like to give this four ass eatings. Out of five explosion exploding ghouls. Ah, this was a pretty fucking good movie from the last one. I'm giving it five. Uh, I'm giving it the five ghoulies that fit into one big ghoulie. Oh God! Sure. Wait. No, he just wait, wait, wait. We've got five ghoulies who and one big ghoulie. Is it Power Rangers? Oh my God! <laughs> ghoulies. Pa- I give this the script to Ghoulies Power Rangers. <laughs> you give the script to Ghoulies Power Rangers. Wouldn't that be awesome, though? No. <laughs> Fucking one, like all of them are in different colors. Find me, f- find me five overbearing and over emotional ghoulies. <laughs> uh. oh, oh, and the wizard from the first one could be Rita Repulsa. After a thousand years, I'm free. Son, you've time to. I don't know. What I, is my goal? What is my goal? I don't know why I summoned these demons anyway. Oh, this movie was awesome. It was really good. See you all next week. Bye-bye.